with my boy D. MB, yeah, MB money right bags. here. Yeah. I'm with money bags right here. MB, yeah. it's a GTV. Tune in. You gotta check in. Yeah. Luke chapter four, verse six through seven. Has been handed over to me, and I may give it to whomever I wish. Mm. This will be yours if you worship me. Ho, oh, the devil, and here's another translation. The devil said to him, I shall give to you all this power and their glory, for it for it has been handed over to me, and I may give to you whomever I wish. All this will be yours if you worship me. Mmm. Let's take this back. Let's take this back. Now y'all hear that now. Revelations chapter 9 verse 1. According to the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, one and the fifth angel sounded, and I saw a star fall from heaven unto the earth. A and D to him was given the key of the B bottomless sea pit. Two, and he opened the bottomless pit, and there arose a smoke out of the pit, as the smoke of a great furnace. And the sun and the air were darkened by reason of the smoke of the pit. Into him, ho, oh, and the fifth angel sounded, and I saw a star fall from heaven unto earth, and to him was given the key, the key, the key of the bottomless pit. See, when Adam transgressed, transgressed it upon the earth, Adam and Eve, they had, Adam had domain over the earth. He had domain over the earth. He walked with God in the garden and named every animal. He had domain over the earth. So... When Eve bit the apple, it did nothing. It did nothing. It did nothing. But when Adam bit the apple, everything changed. Because he had domain, he had the keys. Now once all that happened, they had to leave from the garden. They had to go. They could not stay in the garden. There was angels guarding the gates. But there's something that happened to them keys. There's something that happened to them keys. It says 17 through 18, Revelations 1. When I saw him, I fell to his feet as though dead. Then he placed his right hand on me and said, Do not be afraid. I am the first and the last. I am the living one. I was dead. And now, look, I am alive forever and ever. And I hold the keys of death and hate. Mm. So... Jesus is explaining after his death what he had to go through. He had to get the keys back from Satan. Because all the prophets was dying, right? When they died, they went to hell. Everybody that died before Jesus was going to hell. And what Jesus had to paint that he had to do this sacrifice. It was not only a war going on in the physical world, the physical realm. It was havoc and chaos in the spiritual world. Why you think it was a matter of him transcending? There was a war going on in the spiritual realm. It's why he had to get the keys of death. Now, it's a powerful thing when you think of it, right? That it is 
is a war thing going on. And until, like Prodigy used to say, it's a war going on outside, nobody's safe from. It's a war going on outside, nobody's safe from. What side is we on right now? Because, as it says in the Bible, it was a war on the keys. It was a war on the keys. Now, until people understand this, people is really going to be lost because this.